Learn to win, how to unlock your full potential and push beyond your limits. Published and curated by Mindlixer. Have you ever felt like you're stuck in a cycle of stagnation, as if life itself is passing you by while you stand rooted to the same spot? Have you watched others climb the ladder of success, love, and fulfillment while questioning why you're not moving at the same rhythm? Does your career seem like a never-ending plateau, with no peaks in sight? In your finances, do the same hurdles keep tripping you up, causing frustration as you struggle to get ahead? Socially, do you seek connections and meaningful relationships, only to find yourself trudging through a swamp of surface-level interactions? Welcome to a space where these pressing concerns aren't just heard but profoundly understood. This piece isn't just another feel-good pep talk, it's a deep dive into the bedrock of personal and professional transformation. At times, the universe seems to conspire against us, placing roadblocks on our path that seem insurmountable. Yet, what if I told you that the key to unlocking an era of unprecedented growth lies hidden within you, nestled in everyday choices and the fabric of your habits? We live in a constantly evolving, often chaotic world where the quest for growth can feel Sisyphean. It's commonplace to think that progress should unfold in a linear, obstacle-free manner, however, I invite you to shift this perspective. Imagine the powerful waves of the ocean, they don't just gently lap at the shore, but carve their might into the very coastline. Your journey to growth can mirror this raw energy, a series of relentless, purposeful efforts that will, in time, reshape the seemingly impermeable cliffs of your limitations. Instill this vibrant image in your mind, for it is reflective of the foundation you're about to construct under your aspirations, strong, unfaltering, and designed to withstand the gales of uncertainty that life so often brings. Building this foundation is no simple task. It requires a fundamental understanding of the core components that fuel expansion. Amidst the barrage of advice and self-help strategies floating in the digital ether, finding that concrete plan of action can seem elusive. You're seeking more than just a fleeting spark of inspiration, you're hunting for the torch that will burn steadily, illuminating the path ahead. This torch is made up of resilience, mindset, time management, habit formation, and the continuous pursuit of knowledge, elements that are unanimously revered in the tales of achievers throughout history. Consider resilience, that magnificent quality often celebrated in stories of great leaders and trailblazers. It's not an innate trait doled out to a lucky few, but a skill cultivated with intention and patience. As we delve into the foundation for growth, resilience stands as our fortress against adversity, teaching us to transform every setback into a new stepping stone toward our summit. How we perceive challenges and our power to rise from them defines the altitude of the growth we can experience. It aligns closely with our mindset, the silent narrator of our life script, scripting tales of limits or looped replays of triumphs. By altering this internal dialogue, we alter the very landscape of our potential. When it comes to goal setting, the common thread that binds the accomplished is the audacity to envision monumental objectives, not as distant mirages, but as inevitable destinations. Our journey unlocks the monumental power of aspirational goals, ones that challenge conformity, stretching beyond the horizon of ordinary expectation. Such goals are the compasses that guide our ships through the turbulent seas of everyday life, ensuring we're not simply adrift, but navigating with purpose and clarity. Now, pair resilience and mindset with a disciplined mastery of time, a non-renewable resource that ticks away with indiscriminate haste. As we embark on laying the groundwork for growth, acknowledging time's value compels us to wield it with the precision of a maestro, orchestrating our daily activities into a symphony of productivity. Habit formation is the bedrock upon which lasting change is built. It's the often overlooked undercurrent that propels us towards our aims. Throughout the prose of change agents, habits emerge time and again as the quietly ticking engine of long-term success, the silent builders that, brick by brick, construct the edifice of our achievements. And this brings us to the core of what you're about to embark on, a systematic unveiling of the pillars that support durable, remarkable growth. 
It's more than simply climbing, it's evolving, more than surviving, it's thriving. This isn't about short-lived spurts of progress, but about initiating a tectonic shift within that redefines your very essence of success. And, as you might have guessed, there is indeed a secret source, a blend of timeless wisdom, strategic acumen, and personal anecdotes designed to render the complex simple and the insurmountable achievable. The pillars detailed hereafter are not merely tools but catalysts, agents of transformation awaiting your command. They offer a holistic approach to growth, setting the stage for a revelation in self-improvement. This is where you craft an unassailable foundation, capable of supporting the weight of dreams that others might deem unreachable. Here, you redefine personal limits and shatter the glass ceiling of your own expectations. This is where you awaken to the reality that you are the architect of your destiny, and with the right foundation, there's no limit to the heights you can soar. In this comprehensive guide, each chapter unfolds as a blueprint, gradually constructing a formidable groundwork upon which a tower of success can be erected. It's time to lay those first stones, to cement the base, and to rise, unshaken, as the future you imagine becomes the life you live. Welcome to the first chapter of your most exhilarating construction project yet, the reshaping of your potential, the beginning of a personal renaissance. Welcome to the genesis of your unprecedented growth. Chapter 1. Understanding your mindset, the power of beliefs in achieving success. Embarking on the journey to success, whatever that may look like to you, is often a complex adventure, replete with highs and lows, steep climbs, and sudden descents. One of the most critical factors dictating the trajectory of this expedition is not found in the external landscape but in the internal vista of your mind, specifically, your mindset. Your mindset, that is, the collection of beliefs and attitudes you hold about yourself and your ability to succeed, is paramount. It wields tremendous power which can either launch you towards the stars or tether you to the ground. Many individuals approach the concept of success believing that certain tangible attributes, talents, intelligence, resources, are the key cards to be played. While these characteristics are valuable, the underlying force bringing them to life is belief. The power of belief is the fertile soil in which the seeds of success are sown and nurtured to fruition. Beliefs are the lens through which we interpret the world, they shape our perceptions, influence our thoughts, and ultimately drive our actions. A person who believes they are inherently incapable of succeeding at a task will often either avoid that task entirely or approach it half-heartedly, both scenarios culminating in an affirmation of that original negative belief. In contrast, harboring the belief that skills can be developed, that setbacks are but learning opportunities, and that perseverance can overcome obstacles, primes the individual for progress. This positive outlook acts as an unwavering beacon even in the darkest of times, providing the motivation needed to push through and the resilience to bounce back when setbacks occur. At this juncture, we encounter the concept of self-fulfilling prophecy, a phenomenon where a belief, either positive or negative, precipitates actions that make the belief come true. If we are convinced that we are destined for a certain level of achievement, that conviction subtly guides our actions and interactions in a way that aligns with the anticipated outcome. Our beliefs about our potential infiltrate our daily habits, the goals we set, the risks we take, and the opportunities we seize or let pass by. But how does one go about cultivating a mindset conducive to achieving success? The initial step is self-awareness. This involves mindful observation and recognition of one's prevailing thought patterns and beliefs about one's capabilities and potential. It's about asking oneself probing questions, do I believe that my abilities are fixed or that they can be developed? Do I view challenges as threats or as chances to grow? Answering these questions truthfully lays the groundwork for the transformative process of reshaping one's mindset. After self-awareness comes self-talk, the internal dialogue that runs like a background software in the mind. Positive self-talk, rooted in rational and affirmative beliefs, constructs a strong scaffolding for self-esteem and confidence. 
Conversely, negative self-talk can be debilitating. Thankfully, self-talk is a habit, one that can be reshaped with conscious effort. By catching oneself in the act of negativity and deliberately replacing it with constructive affirmations, over time, one can rewire the narrative that plays in the mind. Visualization is another dynamic tool to harness the power of belief. By vividly envisaging ourselves achieving our goals, we begin to solidify the belief that success is within reach. This mental rehearsal not only enhances motivation but also prepares the mind and body for action, ironing out a blueprint for success that we subconsciously start to follow. Moreover, a key aspect of a belief-driven pathway to success is embracing the learning process. Those who believe they are on a continual journey of education and growth are more likely to have an adaptable mindset. This views failure not as a dead end but as a detour on the path to mastery. Rather than becoming discouraged when faced with failure, such individuals dissect the event, extract lessons, and adapt their strategies for the future. Surrounding oneself with sources of positive reinforcement, like books, podcasts, and speeches imbued with success-oriented thinking, gradually infuses a person's mindset with empowering principles and ideologies. Over time, a pattern emerges, a new set of automatic responses rooted in a solid belief in one's abilities and potential. Education, in its formal and informal guises, plays a significant role as well. It bolsters our belief in our potential by providing tangible proof of our ability to learn, adapt, and grow. The more we understand about a subject or skill, the more confident we become in our ability to master it. A critical caveat to bear in mind, however, is the need for grounded optimism. Our beliefs must not become delusions. They should be steeped in reality, buoyed by true potential and actual effort, not mere wishful thinking or unbridled arrogance. That is why pairing a success-oriented mindset with action is integral. Belief on its own might set the stage, but without action, it is like an unlit match, full of potential but devoid of effect. An empowering mindset also impacts goal setting. When we believe in our capacity for success, we tend to set higher goals, stretch targets that force us out of comfort zones and compel growth. Such goals, daunting as they may be, are not seen as impossible summits but rather challenging elevations on the topography of our potential. Fostering a dynamic and success-oriented mindset is not an overnight transformation. It requires diligence, self-reflection, and a willingness to confront and alter ingrained beliefs. But the investment of time and effort pays dividends that echo across all aspects of life. When our belief system aligns with the principles of growth, resilience, and adaptability, we equip ourselves with a compass that points unerringly towards success. In understanding the potency of beliefs in our chase for success, we must acknowledge that the mind is an ever-evolving entity. Our beliefs are not set in stone, they can be chiseled, shaped, and polished over time. In doing so, we not only enhance our journey towards professional and personal accomplishments but also inspire others to examine and uplift their own beliefs, contributing to a cascade of success that has the power to transcend individual lives and enrich the fabric of society. Therefore, to unravel the tapestry of success, it is essential to begin by weaving threads of positive, potent beliefs into the core of our being, infusing every action and decision with the conviction that success, in whatever form it may take, is not only possible but probable. Chapter 2 the Secret Solution, Unleashing the Hidden Power of Self-Discipline When delving into the vast landscape of personal growth and achievement, we uncover a multitude of strategies and tools that promise to catapult us toward our dreams. Yet, amidst this trove of techniques, there lies a fundamental, often underrated engine of success, the power of self-discipline. This isn't merely about saying no to a tempting slice of cake or getting out of bed early, self-discipline is the steely inner resolve that underpins every step towards our monumental goals, the quiet force that propels us forward when motivation wanes and challenges rear their daunting heads. Think of self-discipline as the skilled conductor of an orchestra, 
where every musician represents the choices we must manage daily. Without the conductor's steady hand, the potential for harmony is lost amidst discordant sounds. Similarly, without self-discipline, our actions can become scattered and ineffective. It's this control over our impulses and decisions that turns chaotic cacophony into symphonic triumph. Developing self-discipline isn't a feat reserved for the stoic or the austere, it's an attainable attribute that can be strengthened much like a muscle. It requires rigorous, consistent training and the willingness to push beyond comfort zones. Self-discipline involves setting personal rules and abiding by them, even when no one else is watching, especially when no one else is watching. It is the promise keeper that ensures we remain true to our aspirations through actions, not just words. The workings of self-discipline can be seen in the mundane as well as in the grandiose, it's as present in the daily routine of brushing our teeth as it is in the steadfast pursuit of a career milestone. It's the commitment to process and persistence over quick fixes and shortcuts, an acknowledgement that the most worthy accomplishments are often the result of many small, consistent efforts rather than bursts of sporadic exertion. Imbuing our daily grind with self-discipline can sometimes feel like waging a battle against an invisible enemy, where the foe is our own propensity for ease and instant gratification. This battle is fought in the mind, where we must negotiate with a sometimes stubborn psyche, coaxing it towards the realization that temporary discomforts are the price to pay for long-term achievements. It's crucial to recognize that self-discipline is as much about what we opt not to do as it is about our proactive endeavors. It's the wisdom to forego fleeting pleasures in favor of lasting rewards, choosing the path of hard work over the allure of leisure. It's also the protective barrier that guards our time and energy from being siphoned by distractions and diversions, ensuring that our focus remains laser-sharp on the targets we've set for ourselves. Self-discipline is the unsung hero that enables us to rise before dawn to lace up our running shoes, choose the salad over the burger, and turn off the mind-numbing flicker of our screens to delve into a book that expands our understanding. It permutes every aspect of our lives, from the way we handle our finances to how we conduct our relationships. The one who masters self-discipline has effectively acquired the master key to unlock the doors of success in virtually any arena. Harnessing this power doesn't occur overnight. It's a journey of incremental gains, where each act of self-denial and each discipline choice reinforces the framework of our resolve. We may falter at times, succumbing to temptations or sliding into old habits, but the beauty of self-discipline lies in its nature of readiness to resume the march towards mastery without being disheartened by momentary lapses. To walk the tightrope of self-discipline, one needs to become adept at the art of self-awareness, constantly keeping tabs on our impulses and immediate desires. It requires an honest assessment of our weaknesses and the implementation of a strategy to guard against them. Strategies could be as simple as keeping junk food out of the house to prevent impulsive eating or as intricate as developing a highly structured schedule that allocates time for work, exercise, relaxation, and learning. Moreover, self-discipline flourishes in environments of clarity and simplicity. When our goals and the steps required to achieve them are crystal clear, it's easier to muster the discipline needed to adhere to them. Ambiguity, in contrast, breeds procrastination and a lack of focus, both of which are arch nemeses to disciplined action. Thus, Clarity in our vision and simplicity in our approach serve as accelerators for our self-disciplined efforts. Ultimately, the hidden power of self-discipline is that it transforms us from being passive dreamers into active achievers. It aligns our behaviors with our values and aspirations, carving out a life that is not just lived, but lived with purpose and intentionality. Those who can tap into this quiet yet indomitable force will find themselves not only achieving what they set out to do, but also setting the stage for sustained success that can endure the vagaries of life's unpredictable journey. Chapter 3 Setting Monumental Goals, Charting Your Path to Victory The trajectory of your potential, as subtly hinted at the onset of this explorative journey, is inextricably tied to the audacity of your aspirations. 
At the introduction of our book, we laid a tantalizing breadcrumb trail to the secret source, the sort of alchemy capable of transmuting the leaden weight of mediocrity into the pure gold of accomplishment. The cornerstone of this transformative process isn't buried in arcane knowledge or mystical rituals, instead, it lies within the sturdy bedrock of setting monumental goals. Goals are the compass by which we navigate the vast seas of possibility. When they're monumental, they serve not only as navigational aids, but also as the North Star, providing both direction and inspiration. Monumental goals possess the peculiar magic of elevating one's capacities, stretching the canvas of capabilities to accommodate grander visions of success. Think of humanity's giant leap onto the lunar surface or the construction of wonders such as the Great Wall of China or the Internet. These achievements did stem from the audacity to dream big, to set into motion objectives that dwarf the everyday and the mundane. The task of setting monumental goals begins with allowing yourself to dream, to wander beyond the confines of the probable into the territories of the possible. It requires painting a picture of the future that brims with ambition and grandeur. To this portrait, you must bring more than just the broad strokes, you must also tend to the fine lines that shape the actionable steps. Consider the pyramid builders of ancient Egypt. Their monumental task was not simply to honor their gods or their kings, it was also a sophisticated exercise in planning, coordination, and execution on an unprecedented scale. Likewise, your monumental goals will require a blueprint that not only inspires wonder but also signifies feasibility. As you channel your energies into these ambitious prospects, remember that setting a monumental goal is not about inscribing a destination into stone. It's about embarking on a journey that transforms you. The outcome is vital, but so is the metamorphosis that occurs along the way. Setting such objectives requires one to operate with a level of precision and passion that is both rigorous and relentless. This means issuing vague objectives in favor of clear, quantifiable targets. Instead of merely wishing to increase revenue or lose weight, specify by how much and by when. This precision will serve as a bedrock, equipping you with a measurable yardstick against which progress can be assessed. Moreover, monumental goals need to be broken down into smaller, digestible milestones. The journey towards the unthinkable often begins with a series of very thinkable, very doable steps. These milestones serve a dual purpose, they make the grand objective less daunting and provide frequent opportunities for celebration, keeping morale high. To tackle these increments effectively, one must harness the power of routine, disciplined habits are the engines that drive progress. These routines are the threads that, when woven together with consistency, form the tapestry of your ultimate accomplishment. Throughout this climb towards your monumental goals, resilience becomes a vital companion. The road will almost certainly be littered with challenges and setbacks, but a monumental goal-setter views these not as deterrents but as integral parts of the journey. Building resilience is akin to forging a blade, with each strike of adversity, it becomes sharper and more steadfast. As you set monumental goals, you must also prepare for the mental and emotional rigors they will impose. Equip yourself with the tools and the mindset to overcome, to rise above, and to persevere through what may at times seem insurmountable. Alongside resilience, a growth mindset plays a pivotal role in the pursuit of monumental goals. With a growth mindset, failure transforms from a signal of defeat into one of learning, a springboard for innovation and recalibration. It is through the lens of growth that every misstep can be reimagined as a stepping stone towards mastery. This mindset is the fertile soil in which your colossal aspirations can take root and flourish. Critical to the realization of momentous achievements is also the mastery of time management. Time, after all, is the canvas upon which you paint your aspirations. Mastering it ensures that each stroke, each effort, contributes effectively towards the larger picture. It requires the ability to prioritize, to distinguish between what is critical and what is trivial, to focus on high-value activities that push the needle further towards your goals.
the structure of habit formation also cannot be overstated in the quest for the monumental. It's through the repetitive act of doing, persistently and without falter, that progress is etched into the very fabric of your being. Habits are the invisible architecture that supports your ambitions, the steady drumbeat to which the march towards victory is set. They establish a rhythm of consistency, a predictable pattern of excellence that, day by day, builds the foundation of achievement. But one must not neglect the human aspect in the pursuit of greatness. Motivation can ebb and flow, a natural part of the human experience, but keeping the flame of ambition alive is crucial. It's the spark that ignites action, the warmth that sustains you through cold bouts of doubt or weary stretches of effort. Motivation, however, should not be an internal monologue, it can and should be fueled by the world around you. Surrounding yourself with a tapestry of mentors and networks serves to not only guide and inspire, but also to hold you accountable to the towering standards you've set. Learning from the best fosters an environment where becoming the best is not just a possibility, but an eventuality. As with any Herculean endeavor, balance is imperative. It is the keystone that ensures the arch of your achievements does not crumble under its own weight. Achieving balance involves recognizing the importance of sustenance, both physical and mental, and the necessity of rest and recovery. Without balance, the risk of burnout looms large, a shadow that can cast darkness over even the most luminous of aspirations. In setting and achieving monumental goals, you're embarking on a never-ending journey of self-excellence. This journey isn't about reaching a final destination, it's about continually surpassing your own limits, about crafting a legacy that resonates with the power of your potential. Every monumental goal achieved sets the stage for the next, each victory building on the last, propelling you forward in a never-ceasing cycle of growth and accomplishment. The path to victory is charted in the stars you set for yourself, the monumental goals that beckon you towards greatness. In pursuing these, remember that each stride forward, each act of daring boldness, is a testament to the power within you, the power that we kindled at the very beginning. This is the secret solution unfurled before you, the pathway to turning the unimaginable into reality, into your reality. The journey towards setting monumental goals is not just about reaching new heights, it is about redefining what heights are possible. Chapter 4 Building Resilience, Overcoming Obstacles and Setbacks Resilience is the unsung hero in the narrative of success. It is the quiet engine that powers through adversity, the silent soldier that battles unforeseen challenges. Those who have accomplished much owe their victories not just to moments of glory but also to the countless times they've harnessed resilience in the face of obstacles and setbacks. Resilience isn't an innate trait but a cultivated prowess, one that is essential for turning defeats into stepping stones and challenges into opportunities for growth. Building resilience is like crafting an invisible armor that shields you, a gripped sword that defends you, and a guiding light that leads you through the murky waters of despair. Imagine resilience as a muscle, the kind that doesn't bulge on your body but bulges in your character. Every challenge you face is akin to a weightlifting session for this muscle, and every time you push through, you grow stronger. Slip-ups, failures, and mishaps all are inevitable facets of any undertaking. When you stumble upon a setback, the resilient mindset urges you to look past the fall and focus on the rising. It whispers in your ear, this is not the end, but the beginning of a lesson. Resilience is about absorbing the shock of failure, understanding its origins, and re-entering the fray with a strategy sculpted from lessons learned. It starts with changing your relationship with failure. In our culture, failure is often painted as a dead-end sign, a scarlet letter of incompetence. But it's crucial to reinterpret failure as feedback. Every setback sheds light on which areas need improvement, which strategies need tweaking, and which skills need honing. Developing resilience means welcoming failure as a guide and not as a foe. It is about having an unwavering belief in your ability to improve. 
A resilient individual sees a setback not as a testament to their limits, but as a momentary lapse in their ascent towards excellence. The biggest of dreams are meant to be daunting, and to conquer them, resilience is the bridge that helps you cross over from where you are to where you want to be. One of the ways to fortify this resilience is by practicing self-compassion. Too often in the aftermath of a failure, the inner critic raises its unforgiving voice, berating and belittling your efforts. Yet, resilience springs from a place of self-kindness. It requires treating oneself with the same empathy and understanding that one would offer a close friend in similar circumstances. By silencing the harsh inner critic and replacing it with a nurturing inner coach, you can move beyond the paralysis of self-doubt and nurture the will to rise again. Cultivating resilience also means embracing a realistic form of optimism. This brand of optimism is not blind to the extent of challenges nor is it naively hopeful. Rather, it is grounded in the belief that with perseverance and effort, outcomes can improve. It is the decision to focus on solutions rather than be ensnared by problems. This form of positive thinking is proactive, it involves anticipating obstacles and planning ways to overcome them. Additionally, while fostering resilience, you must broaden your perspective to see beyond the immediate hindrance. Take a step back and view obstacles within the larger picture of your journey. This bird's eye view can reveal that what may seem like a colossal roadblock is but a small detour in the grand scheme of your path. A delay, frustration, or complication won't spell the undoing of your endeavors if you take the long view and recognize the transient nature of setbacks. Resilience means also to cultivate the art of patience. The most worthwhile accomplishments are seldom the fruits of hasty labors, they are often the sum total of relentless efforts sustained over time. Patience teaches you to endure the wait, to labor steadily even when rewards aren't immediately visible, and to trust in the accumulative impact of small, consistent actions. Building resilience is hardly a solitary endeavor. Though it stems from within, its growth is nurtured through support and community. Surrounding oneself with individuals who uplift, challenge, and motivate can make the journey towards resilience less daunting. It fosters an environment where one is not ashamed of stumbling but is instead encouraged to seek the collective wisdom of others. Such camaraderie becomes a source of strength, reminding us that we are not alone in our struggles. As you weave together the tapestry of your life, it is key to remember that resilience is not a question of if you'll face obstacles, but when. Armed with resilience, you'll have the capacity to turn these moments into milestones of your growth narrative. It is this formidable resilience that becomes your ally in achieving your most ambitious goals, in transforming your life's blueprint into a reality. So, as you journey along the path toward your dreams, across untrodden terrains, through unpredictable storms, let resilience be your steadfast companion, your infallible guide, and, ultimately, your greatest victory. Chapter 5 Cultivating a Growth Mindset Embracing learning and failure. Understanding and developing a growth mindset is akin to nurturing a garden, it requires patience, effort, and the right conditions to flourish. At the heart of a growth mindset is the belief that your abilities and intelligence can be developed over time through dedication and hard work. It is a stark contrast to a fixed mindset, where the belief is that our intelligence and skills are static and unchangeable. The power of a growth mindset lies in its ability to transform challenges into opportunities, making learning and personal development not just possible, but also enjoyable. Embracing a growth mindset begins with the recognition that effort is the cornerstone of mastery. When we view effort not as a sign of weakness or inadequacy, but as a necessary path to improvement, setbacks become less daunting. The process of learning is replete with trial and error, and if we can reframe errors as stepping stones rather than stumbling blocks, we lay the groundwork for remarkable progress. With this perspective, we understand that every failed experiment, every incorrect answer, is a clarion call to reassess and try again with renewed insight. The value of embracing failure cannot be overstated. It is through the crucible of failure that we often gain the most valuable insights. 
Think of the countless inventors and scientists whose names are synonymous with success, their paths were punctuated with failures that became lessons leading to their ultimate breakthroughs. Failure, in this light, is not a badge of dishonor but a medal of honor, signifying the courage to innovate and push boundaries. Moreover, a growth mindset encourages us to revel in the process of learning itself, to derive joy from acquiring new skills and knowledge. It motivates us to push the envelope, to set ambitious learning goals, and to engage in deliberate practice, a form of rigorous, focused training in which we continuously stretch our abilities. When we adopt this mindset, even the most mundane tasks can be transformed into opportunities for growth. By applying this lens of continuous improvement to all areas of life, lifelong learning becomes not just a habit but a lifestyle. Fear of judgment often stands as a formidable barrier to adopting a growth mindset. The apprehension that others might see our mistakes and judge us harshly can be paralyzing. However, once we understand that true expertise is born from a cacophony of missteps, we can move beyond this fear. This requires embracing vulnerability and acknowledging that we do not have all the answers. A growth mindset thrives in an environment where individuals are celebrated for their dedication to growth rather than their innate talents. Cultivating a growth mindset also demands that we become adept at self-reflection and self-assessment, honest and constructive in evaluating our own progress. This self-awareness allows us to recognize our strengths and pinpoint the areas that need more attention. It is a form of intellectual humility, a recognition that there is always more to learn, and that each person we meet can teach us something valuable. Additionally, adopting a growth mindset means celebrating the achievements and progress of others. By fostering a sense of collective growth, we create a culture where knowledge is shared, and individual advancement aids communal development. A rising tide lifts all boats, they say, and in a community imbued with a growth mindset, each person's growth contributes to the upliftment of everyone. In essence, to cultivate a growth mindset is to see life as an endless highway, lined with opportunities to learn and grow. It is to recognize that the journey toward self-excellence is paved with persistence, resilience, and an unquenchable thirst for knowledge. When we embrace this mindset wholeheartedly, the boundaries of our potential expand, and what we once thought impossible becomes a milestone waiting to be achieved. Chapter 6 Mastering Time Management, Maximizing Productivity to Reach Potential You've more than likely been caught in the whirlwind of a hectic day, the kind where it seems like the hands of the clock have spun into overdrive. Before you realize, dusk is kissing the horizon goodbye, and an uncomfortable sense of dissatisfaction sets in as you recount the paltry list of accomplished tasks. It's this ubiquitous struggle with time that stands as a colossus on our path to productivity, however, mastering the art of time management is akin to acquiring a key to a treasure trove of potential. At the heart of this mastery is the recognition that our days are filled with moments, each a precious opportunity to contribute to our monumental goals. To paraphrase a sentiment shared by countless successful figures across generations, every second counts in the great ledger of life. Adopting this perspective is the first transformative step in maximizing productivity. It requires a paradigm shift from viewing time as an oppressive jailer to seeing it as a valuable ally. Now, the sheer mention of time management tends to conjure images of rigid schedules, with life metered out in a series of unyielding blocks, however, true mastery is far more nuanced. It's about creating a flexible framework that serves you, accommodating the inevitable ebbs and flows inherent in everyone's existence. Productivity isn't simply about doing more, it's about doing what matters most, effectively and efficiently. Distinguishing between urgent and important tasks, a tenet of Stephen Covey's time management matrix, is a seminal concept in prioritizing activities. Urgent tasks screen for our attention, often masquerading as crises, while important tasks align more closely with long-term goals and personal values. Succumbing to the siren call of urgency can lead to a myopic focus that negatively impacts growth and satisfaction. 
Instead, weaving in time for important yet non-urgent tasks is pivotal in progressing toward grander aspirations. This might mean delving into professional development, strategizing future projects, or even nurturing personal relationships. A not-so-secret tool for time management effectiveness is planning ahead. Taking a few moments each night to strategize the coming day can be transformative. Consider it akin to crafting a miniature blueprint of your tomorrow. It enables you to lay out your priorities, scheduling them at times when you are typically most productive. For instance, if your mind is sharpest in the quiet of the morning, that block of time might be reserved for your most demanding cognitive tasks. Conversely, the post-lunch slump could be the ideal period for less mentally rigorous activities. This strategic approach to daily planning is underpinned by the recognition that willpower and cognitive resources are finite daily commodities. Leveraging your peak hours can result in remarkable surges in productivity, and as these moments are linked to your personal biorhythms, they'll differ from one person to the next, emphasizing the importance of introspection in time management. Another facet of mastering time is the art of delegation. This involves identifying tasks that others can perform on your behalf, freeing you up to focus on what truly matters. Delegation is not just about offloading work, it's about empowering others, building trust, and fostering a team environment where skills and responsibilities are optimally distributed. Of course, this necessitates letting go of any perfectionist tendencies and understanding that sometimes good enough is, indeed, good enough, particularly for tasks of lesser priority. Simultaneously, a counterculture to the bustling activity of life is the practice of mindfulness, which may appear counterintuitive in a discourse about time management, but hear this out. Mindfulness encourages us to be fully present in the moment, which paradoxically, can enhance productivity by sharpening focus. In moments of undiluted attention, we're able to work with greater accuracy and speed, negating the need for time-consuming corrections. Essentially, mindfulness teaches us to do one thing at a time, but to do it extraordinarily well. This alone can fast-track your progress by reducing the time leakages caused by constant context switching, a well-known vampire of productivity. Finally, while learning to say no may seem to have a negative connotation, it's a necessary edge to hone. Time is a finite resource, and every yes to one commitment is an implicit no to another, potentially more meaningful endeavor. Learning to decline requests that don't align with your critical goals is both an exercise in assertiveness and a declaration of self-respect. It communicates value in your own aspirations and sets a standard for how others engage with you. This doesn't mean adopting a brusque manner, but rather, a transparent communication of priorities, potentially coupled with suggestions for alternative solutions. Mastering time management isn't merely about clock-watching or becoming a slave to productivity, it's about intentional living. It's recognizing that our time on this earth is limited, and thus, it's a call to action to use it wisely, purposefully, and with great heart. Through this deliberate approach, each tick of the clock becomes less a countdown and more a gentle reminder of the progress we're making toward unfurling the vast potential within ourselves. Chapter 7 The Role of Habit Formation in Driving Persistent Progress Habit formation is the cornerstone of long-term success. It is the underpinning force that molds our actions into patterns that can either propel us towards our goals or anchor us to our failures. When we talk about habit formation, we're not merely referring to the innocuous routines like brushing our teeth or having coffee in the morning. We're diving deep into the intricacies of behavioral patterns that shape our productivity, health, relationships, and ultimately, our life's trajectory. From the moment we rise until we retire to bed, our lives are a series of habits stacked upon one another, each with its own trigger, routine, and reward, the three fundamental components of Charles Duhigg's habit loop from his book The Power of Habit. Understanding this loop is critical to manipulating it to our advantage. Habits, once established, work on autopilot, which is both a gift and a curse. 
the autopilot makes life simpler, not necessarily better. That's why we must deliberately craft the autopilot's program, ensuring that the habits we ingrain lead us toward success. The formation of a habit starts with a cue or trigger, which tells your brain to go into automatic mode and which habit to use. Then there is the routine, which can be physical, mental, or emotional. Finally, there's a reward, which helps your brain figure out if this particular loop is worth remembering for the future. Over time, this loop becomes more and more automatic, and the cue and reward become intertwined until a powerful sense of anticipation and craving emerges. This is how habits are born and sustained. Developing productive habits isn't just about determination, it's also grounded in understanding and strategically manipulating these habit loops. For instance, if you want to write daily, you would establish a consistent trigger, be it a time of day or a preceding action. Then, you would sit down and write, routine, and perhaps reward yourself with a small treat or a few minutes of leisure, reward, afterward. Over time, the anticipation of the reward, and the ease of slipping into the writing routine following the trigger, would make the act of writing a natural, almost unconscious action. An effective strategy for habit formation is to start small. Just like building a muscle, strengthening a habit requires progressive overload. Start with an action so easy and small that it would be harder not to do it than to do it. As this small act becomes a solid part of your routine, increase the challenge slightly. Over time, these tiny increments accumulate into profound transformation. This concept, identified by Dr. B.J. Fogg as tiny habits, leverages the gradual nature of habit formation to establish behaviors that can stick with us for a lifetime. The beauty of habits lies in their efficiency for our brain. When a sequence of actions becomes habitual, the brain expends less energy in decision-making and execution, which allows it to focus on other tasks. This is particularly advantageous when fostering habits that align with your goals. The brain's preference for the path of least resistance means that once a habit is established, it is easier to follow than to break. However, it's also important to be aware of cues that trigger negative habits and to actively work on dismantling them. Habit reversal involves identifying the cues and rewards that fuel unwanted behaviors and finding new routines that satisfy the craving produced by the cue without the negative consequences. This is often more practical than attempting to eliminate the habit altogether since the cue and craving are still addressed. The reinforcement of positive habits can be strengthened with the help of technology and social support. Apps that track progress, communities with similar goals, and accountability partners can provide a network of positive reinforcement and feedback that is essential for maintaining habits. Consistency often requires external scaffolding until the habit itself becomes self-sustaining. Furthermore, habit stacking, a term coined by S.J. Scott in his book Habit Stacking, 97 Small Life Changes That Take 5 Minutes or Less, refers to the process of grouping together small activities into a routine which you associate with a specific cue. The power of this method lies in its ability to integrate multiple desired behaviors into your daily routine, making the execution of these behaviors almost effortless. For instance, after you brush your teeth, you stack another habit on top like affirmations or planning your day, which then seamlessly becomes part of your morning ritual. Consider the profound influence habits have on our lives. When carefully crafted, they can lead to a virtuous cycle where success begets more success. Take exercise, for instance. When it becomes habitual, not only does one benefit from increased fitness over time, but it also typically leads to better eating habits, improved mood, and increased energy levels. These secondary benefits can in turn positively affect other areas of life, including work and personal relationships. Remember, habit formation doesn't adhere to a strict timeline, it's a personalized process. While it's often said that it takes 21 days to form a habit, the reality is more complex. 
research by Philippa Lowley and colleagues at University College London suggests that on average, it takes more than two months before a new behavior becomes automatic, 66 days to be exact. However, this varies widely depending on the behavior, the person, and the circumstances. In conclusion, the emphasis on habit formation in this context of personal growth and goal achievement cannot be overstated. It's the silent architect of our daily lives. As we chisel away at the block of our own potential, it is the hammer and chisel we use, habitual actions carving out the masterpiece of our envisioned future. By strategically and mindfully forming habits that align with our objectives, we ensure steady momentum in the relentless pursuit of our ambitions. With time, what once required conscious effort and willpower becomes second nature, and our path towards success becomes not just a possibility, but an inevitability shaped by the power of our habits. Underscore 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 underscore. Chapter 8. Staying motivated, keeping the flame of ambition alive. When you first set out on a journey toward a new goal or endeavor, be it a fitness plan, a business launch, or any personal project, the initial rush of excitement energizes every step. It's akin to the honeymoon phase of a new romance, everything seems possible, and your ambition burns brightly. However, as the novelty wanes and you meet inevitable challenges, maintaining that level of motivation becomes the real test of perseverance. Keeping the flame of ambition alive isn't just about pushing through, it's about fostering a sustainable drive that can weather the storms of frustration and fatigue that are sure to come. The essence of staying motivated lies in understanding the intrinsic and extrinsic factors that fuel your drive. Internally, motivation springs from a sense of purpose and passion. When you engage in something that aligns with your values and interests, motivation seems to flow naturally. But it's also influenced by external rewards such as recognition, money, or status. While these can be powerful motivators, they may not sustain momentum when the going gets tough. Therefore, grounding your ambition in a deep-seated purpose can provide a more enduring source of energy. One reliable method to keep motivation high is setting and celebrating small milestones. The climb to the summit of your aspirations can be daunting when viewed in its entirety. By breaking down the journey into manageable parts and rejoicing in the completion of each one, you not only chart a clear path toward your goal but also create regular intervals of positive reinforcement. This strategy keeps the journey fresh and rewarding, interspersing moments of satisfaction to fuel your continued effort. Another aspect of sustained motivation is cultivating an optimistic but realistic mindset. It's crucial to visualize success and to believe in your capacity to achieve it. However, being too idealistic about the journey can lead to disappointment when faced with setbacks. Prepare mentally for the challenges ahead and approach them as opportunities for learning and growth, not as insurmountable obstacles. This balanced perspective helps maintain a steady level of motivation, even when circumstances are less than ideal. Maintaining high spirits also requires a level of self-awareness about your motivational patterns. Some people thrive on routine and structure, finding motivation in the rhythm of a well-organized plan. Others may need periodic changes to stay engaged. Knowing what environment, time of day, and work structure best suit your motivational style can significantly enhance your productivity and enthusiasm. Furthermore, managing your energy is just as critical as managing your time. You can have all the time in the world, but if you're exhausted, you can't leverage it effectively. This involves knowing when to push hard and when to rest. High levels of motivation are often unsustainable without adequate breaks to recharge both physically and mentally. Blending periods of intense focus with relaxation and recovery not only prevents burnout, but can also lead to bursts of inspiration and renewed motivation. The support system you create around yourself is also a key factor in maintaining motivation. 
Surrounding yourself with like-minded individuals who share your aspirations or have walked a similar path provides a network of encouragement and wisdom. Peers can offer accountability, while mentors can provide guidance and inspiration when your motivation wanes. Joining communities with shared interests helps remind you that you're not alone in your pursuits, offering both companionship and competition to drive you forward. Lastly, it's important to touch on the power of adaptability. Sometimes, despite all efforts, you may find that a certain goal or project no longer ignites passion within you. In such cases, re-evaluating your path isn't a sign of defeat, it's a strategic move. Your ability to adapt to new interests or to pivot when faced with unexpected changes is a form of motivation in itself. It's the willingness to keep moving forward, even if the destination shifts. This flexibility ensures that your ambition remains alive, morphing and evolving with you over time. Keeping the flame of ambition alive is not just about endless grind and perseverance. It's about being strategic with your motivation, understanding your purpose, rejoicing in the little victories, managing your energy levels, capitalizing on a supportive network, and above all, being willing to adapt. Nurturing the sources of your motivation requires as much thoughtfulness and dedication as the pursuit of the goals themselves. It's these often overlooked aspects of motivation that can spell the difference between a fleeting desire and a lifelong pursuit of excellence. Chapter 9. Leveraging mentors and networks, learning from the best to become the best. When we think about our journey toward excellence, whether in our professional or personal lives, one crucial aspect that often doesn't get the spotlight it deserves is the profound influence of mentors and networks. To truly tap into the reservoirs of wisdom, experience, and guidance, there's hardly a better way than to connect with those who have successfully walked the path before us. Having a mentor is akin to having a roadmap while navigating the intricate highways of success, they provide direction, help you avoid common pitfalls, and can accelerate your progress in ways that solitary striving may not. Mentors can offer not just technical advice pertinent to your field, but they also impart the softer skills necessary for holistic development, such as dealing with workplace politics, stress management, and striking work-life balance. On the flip side, merely having a mentor is not the equivalent of having a magic wand that will solve all your problems. The mentee-mentor relationship is a two-way street requiring commitment, respect, and active engagement. What truly sets this relationship in motion is your approach as a mentee. Are you ready to listen and learn? Are you approaching your mentor with clear goals and questions? Are you receptive to feedback, even when it's not sugar-coated? As for the mentors, they tend to invest their time and energy in those who showcase genuine enthusiasm and dedication. It's your drive and willingness to grow that will kindle your mentor's desire to provide support. Remember, effective mentorship is not about being handed solutions on a silver platter, but about being equipped to find those solutions independently, using the insights and principles shared by your mentor. Networking, although often said in the same breath as mentorship, plays a different yet complementary role in the growth saga. While mentorship dives deep, networking casts wide. It's about building a lattice of connections across your industry and beyond. For the pragmatic dreamer, networks can be a treasure trove of opportunities and information. By engaging in professional communities, attending conferences, or joining groups on platforms like LinkedIn, you increase your visibility and gain access to a variety of perspectives and opportunities. Networking is not merely a numbers game where you collect business card or social media contacts like trophies, it's about cultivating meaningful relationships. This cultivation requires an investment of time and genuine interest in the people you're connecting with. Engage with your network with the intention to give as much as you hope to receive. Offer your knowledge, your skills, and your time. Collaboration and knowledge sharing are powerful byproducts of a well nurtured network, often leading to innovation and growth. However, how do you strike the right note between being earnest and not coming off as overly self serving? 
the answer lies in understanding the concept of social capital. Social capital is the collective value of all your social networks and the inclinations that arise from these networks to do things for each other. The key is to build a bank of social capital before making withdrawals. Show up for others, celebrate their wins, provide input, and share opportunities. When the time comes that you need support or a favor, your network is more likely to respond positively because you've already established mutual trust and respect. Building a robust network also aids in discovering potential mentors. Through your interactions, you may find someone whose career trajectory aligns with your aspirations. Such a discovery might lead to an organic mentorship relationship, one that could have a significant impact on your growth. Don't shy away from reaching out to potential mentors. The worst response you can get is a no, but the potential benefits far outweigh the fear of rejection. On the other side of the coin, becoming a mentor once you've achieved a certain level of success is a rewarding way to give back. Sharing your knowledge with aspiring professionals not only contributes to the growth of the industry, but also to your personal growth. Teaching is a powerful way to consolidate one's own knowledge and often challenges you to see things from different perspectives. In conclusion, properly leveraging mentors and networks is a masterstroke in the art of professional development. When approached with diligence, humility, and respect, these relationships can provide a foundation for both immediate and long-term growth. Chapter 10 Achieving balance, sustaining performance without burning out. Striking a balance in life, especially when aiming for high performance in any field, is a dance as delicate as it is necessary. It's about maintaining energy levels, managing stress, and ensuring that our personal and professional lives not only coexist but flourish together. The idea is not to shut down after a period of intense productivity but to find a rhythm that is both sustainable and effective over the long term. Consider the lives of professional athletes, they train vigorously, but equally important are their rest days, nutrition, and mental health practices. The restorative part of their routine is what allows them to perform at their best day after day, year after year. Similarly, when we talk about sustaining performance without burning out in any sphere, whether it's a corporate job, creative endeavor, or entrepreneurial pursuit, we're talking about respecting and nurturing the human system's need for balance. It starts with understanding that rest, both physical and mental, is not the opposite of productivity, it's an integral component of it. Monitoring work hours and ensuring that one does not consistently work beyond capability is crucial. It's easy to fall prey to the hero syndrome, where working overtime is glorified. However, science has shown that chronic overwork can reduce productivity, impair cognitive function, and lead to burnout. Burnout is a state of emotional, physical, and mental exhaustion caused by excessive and prolonged stress which manifests as reduced professional efficacy, cynicism related to one's job, and feelings of exhaustion. Therefore, Setting boundaries is not merely a nice-to-have, it's a must-have. Go beyond a not taking work home and define clear mental boundaries as well, switch off times where work thoughts are as off-limits as the workplace itself. Effective boundary setting extends to technological intrusions as well. The constant connectivity enabled by smartphones has blurred lines between work and personal life. It's more important than ever to be disciplined about digital consumption, yes, this means turning off push notifications and setting aside the phone during family time or leisure activities. Not only does this allow the mind to rejuvenate, but it also fosters richer relationships and life experiences, ultimately feeding back into a more vibrant work performance. Speaking of rejuvenation, an often overlooked aspect of sustaining performance is the role of hobbies and creative outlets that have nothing to do with career goals. Whether it's painting, playing a musical instrument, hiking, or reading, these activities can act as a counterbalance to work stress. They are not distractions or time wasters, they refresh parts of one's mind and soul that jobs might not engage. Achieving balance also involves the physical self, 
the vessel through which all productivity flows. Regular exercise, adequate sleep, and proper nutrition are essential elements of enduring success. Physical activity is not just about staying fit, it's known to reduce anxiety and depression while boosting mood and energy levels. Sleep is the time when the mind and body repair themselves, without enough of it, performance plummets. And in terms of diet, the old adage you are what you eat holds, a balanced, thoughtful diet fuels the engine steadily, as opposed to the fitful energy bursts and crashes of unhealthy eating patterns. There's also the factor of emotional balance, how well we handle the ups and downs that inevitably accompany any long-term endeavor. Resilience is built not only through facing challenges, but through developing emotional intelligence and awareness. Practices like mindfulness, meditation, and gratitude can help in centering oneself and promoting emotional stability. They allow an individual to approach situations with a calm, clear head and maintain a positive perspective, even under pressure. Another aspect of balance is the understanding that perfection is not the goal, sustainable excellence is. It's about doing the best possible work without reaching for the impossible standard of perfection. This means learning to delegate, saying no when necessary, and understanding that sometimes good enough is good enough. Recognizing that not every task requires the same level of meticulousness and effort frees up mental and physical resources for the tasks that do. The social dimension of balance also tends to be underestimated. Humans are social animals, and our relationships contribute significantly to our overall well-being. A strong social support system can provide a buffer against stress. Engaging with a community, whether professional networks, friends, family, or interest-based groups, serves as a reminder that we are part of something bigger, reinforcing the value of our work beyond ourselves and aiding in keeping a balanced perspective. Finally, periodic self-assessment and adjustment are crucial. Life changes, goals shift, and what works to maintain balance at one stage may not suffice at another. Regularly stepping back and evaluating the equilibrium can be illuminating. This is not a set it and forget it kind of process. Instead, it's an ongoing journey that requires attention and adjustment. It's about being proactive, not reactive, and recognizing early signs of fatigue or dissatisfaction can prevent minor imbalances from turning into major burnouts. By keeping a keen eye on the proportion of work and leisure, the intake of technology, the quality of relationships, and one's physical and emotional state, we set the stage for true, sustainable high performance. In practicing balance, one cultivates a life that can withstand the rigors of an ambitious career without losing sight of the multitude of human needs and pleasures that exist outside the office. Achieving this balance isn't an easy feat, but it's of paramount importance for anyone looking to sustain their performance without succumbing to burnout. It's a personal journey that looks different for everyone, but the cornerstone of maintaining enthusiasm, drive, and a sense of well-being throughout life's pursuits. By being mindful of these elements and working towards equilibrium, we not only improve our own lives, but also serve as better leaders, creators, and collaborators. It is in this synergy between push and pause that enduring success is crafted, and the flames of ambition are kept brightly burning without risk of extinguishing them. Continual improvement, the never-ending journey of self-excellence. The pursuit of self-excellence is a path lined with triumphs, roadblocks, and winding turns. Unlike goals that have a clear endpoint, the commitment to continual improvement is an enduring journey, one that never truly concludes. Embracing this journey is a testament to an individual's dedication to not just achieving, but transcending the limits of their personal and professional capabilities. It's a mindset that fosters learning, growth, and adaptation, embedded in the understanding that there is always room to refine one's skills, knowledge, and character. The beauty of continual improvement is its universality, irrespective of one stage in life or level of expertise, there is always a way forward, an aspect to enhance, and a newer, higher standard to pursue. This relentless progression towards an ever-evolving target defines the heart of self-excellence. 
At its core, continual improvement hinges on the willingness to engage in self-assessment and introspection on a regular basis. This involves setting aside time to reflect on recent experiences, evaluating what has been learned, and identifying areas for enhancement. The key here is honesty with oneself and with the outcomes one is achieving. It is all too easy to become complacent, to rest on past laurels or to become defensive about one's shortcomings. But the essence of self-excellence lies in confronting one's weaknesses head-on and transforming them into stepping stones for success. By regularly conducting a candid appraisal of one's abilities and actions, individuals can pinpoint the specific facets of their performance that require attention and thus chart a precise course for improvement. Encouraging feedback from others is another powerful tool in the arsenal for continuous growth. Constructive criticism, when sought and received in the spirit of personal betterment, can unveil blind spots that self-assessment might miss. It opens up a channel for gaining fresh perspectives and understanding how one's actions and outputs are perceived by others. For feedback to be effective and beneficial, it is crucial to cultivate a circle of trusted colleagues, friends, or mentors, individuals who understand your goals and are invested in your development. Through honest and respectful dialogue, feedback can be a compass that guides your journey, keeping you aligned with your path to self-excellence. Learning is fundamentally intertwined with the pursuit of continual improvement. It's not just about broadening your reservoir of knowledge, it goes beyond to encompass the acquisition of new skills, the refinement of existing ones, and even the alteration of outdated mindsets. This pursuit of learning must be proactive and intentional. With the plethora of resources available at one's fingertips, be it online courses, books, podcasts, or workshops, the avenues for learning are limitlessly expansive. The challenge lies in identifying what forms of knowledge and skill development will yield the greatest impact on your growth trajectory. By maintaining a curious and open-minded stance, the pursuit of learning becomes an exhilarating and deeply rewarding aspect of the journey towards self-excellence. Adaptability is an attribute that cannot be overstated in the process of continual improvement. The landscape of any field is perpetually shifting, with new technologies, methodologies, and paradigms emerging at a breakneck pace. To keep stride with these changes and to stay relevant, one must be willing to adapt, to let go of outdated practices and embrace innovation. This requires a certain degree of courage and resilience, as it often means stepping out of comfort zones and confronting the unknown. But it is precisely this agility that enables individuals to remain at the forefront of their pursuits, capitalizing on change as an opportunity rather than recoiling from it as a threat. Commitment to growth must be coupled with deliberate action. This is where goal-setting re-enters the equation, but with a focus on incremental and sustainable progress. The objective set forth should stretch one's capabilities without being so lofty as to cause discouragement. By establishing and pursuing smaller, achievable milestones, the larger vision of self-excellence becomes less daunting. Each small victory fuels momentum, building confidence and competence along the way. It's a step-by-step -step progression where each accomplishment is not just an endpoint, but a launchpad for the next level of achievement. Lastly, the philosophy of Kaizen, which translates to continuous improvement in Japanese, encapsulates the spirit of the journey toward self-excellence. This principle, which emerged in the world of manufacturing, advocates for ongoing, incremental improvements. By incrementally refining processes, executing small changes, and ensuring consistent efforts, the cumulative result is a significant enhancement in quality and efficiency. Kaizen applies not only to production processes, but is equally relevant to personal growth. Applying the Kaizen approach to oneself implies making consistent, small improvements, and recognizing that the aggregation of these will lead to substantial improvements over time. In conclusion, the pursuit of continual improvement is a profoundly personal voyage that couples the desire to better oneself with actionable steps to realize that desire. It requires introspection, feedback, learning, adaptability, 
and an incremental approach to goal setting. It is a journey without a final destination, but rather a series of waypoints, each representing a version of oneself that is more knowledgeable, more skilled, and closer to the ideal of self-excellence.